So at UPS, we are trying to do so many interesting things. The research output of the university, which was about one research paper per faculty per year, which is also the global average in 2020, has increased to 2.5 research papers per faculty per year, which is an increase of 150% within a year. If we extrapolate that data, the quarterly results for research papers per faculty per year in 2022, which means that 400% increase within a span of two years in the research output. Such a great pool of people we have been able to bring together. Several of them have been recipients of top scholarships such as Fulbright scholarships, Chevening scholarships, Dart scholarships, Commonwealth fellowships and so on. We have almost 15 of our faculty members who have been part of world's top 2% researchers list which has been produced by Stanford University Research Group. And also we have about 8 or 9 of our faculty members who are amongst world's highly cited researchers which is like 0.1% researchers in the world. We train the PhD student to become innovator, inventor, scientist, demanded by research institutions, universities and industries in India and abroad. Faculty with outstanding research profiles, state-of-art infrastructure and research-friendly environment. My PhD students here are dealing with several projects including groundwater remediation technologies, COVID-19 surveillance as well as antibiotic resistance. I did my PhD from the University of Tokyo in environmental engineering and I featured in top 2% world researcher released by Stanford University. At UPS we have several facilities, cutting edge instrumentation and very well known world leaders as mentors. I currently have been working in collaboration with MIT USA, Institute of Chemical Technology Mumbai and Kathmandu University Nepal to work on the mitigation of household air pollution that is arising in rural India. We are trying to solve a pollution problem which affects almost 70% of the population in India. This project is also in line with the UN Sustainable Goals as well as the Government of India mandate to reduce the CO2 emission by 2030. If you are one of them, please join us.